Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we are doing another indie showcase. Today will be Don't Starve, which is a mix between Minecraft Terraria and many others. It's a survival game and you will see it soon. But first, we are going to cover the developers. Uh, this one is done by Kelly Entertainment. Uh, they are from Vancouver, British Columbia. And some of their big games that they have uh, done recently was Shanks, uh, or Shank 1 and 2. Uh, uh, also, the founders were uh, backed by uh, THQ at one point, and then he sold his shares and got a loan to start this new studio. The studio has been uh, creating games since 2005. Uh, for background on the game now, uh, in in January of this year, we started work on a new game called Don't Starve. The, the game is a big departure for us at uh, Kaylee, con considering our recent history with linear, narrative-driven action games. Don't Starve is a randomly generated, open-world survival game. The player tries to su survive for as long as they can in a complex, hostile environment. It's a Lost in the Woods simulator, simulator featuring cannibalistic pig people and trees that fight back when you try to chop them down. It's about being alone and surviving on your wits while growing a magnificent beard. So that's why it's interested me so much and I also got a free copy from uh, Lord Cooper and uh, Lord Cooper on Steam, if you want to add him, and Lord Cooper in YouTube. I'll probably uh, give him a little shout out there. And thanks for always supporting the community. I always take free games, and especially when they're good games, I'll uh, uh, do a indie showcase on them. I believe this indie showcase will probably uh, evolve into a uh, Let's Play. Ooh, look at all the characters. So there's a bunch of people you can play. Unless that's the same shadow. Nope, they are different shadows. So I have to unlock them. The Gentleman Scientist. I will conquer it all with the power of my mind. Grows a magnificent beard. And his name is Wilson. As you can see. Uh, I just love the art style. I've been, I've probably saw it a month or two ago, and it was originally just running in Chrome. Now it is on Steam, and you can launch it in Steam. It has its own EXE, etc. And you will see the game. This, the game has also evolved quite a bit since uh, the last time I saw it, and I'm quite excited because it is different. Ready to play? How long will you survive? Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. And I think that is the demon that put me in this place. I wonder if there's a way to pause. It doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to start going around and talk at the same time. On the right there is our health. That's our heart. Uh, I'm also looking for food, which is our stomach right below. I'm not going to touch that beehive. <laughs> Because that is probably going to kill me. So I just picked up some flint, and that is what you need to make a shovel. So it went green, or not a shovel, an axe. So let's build one of those. And now we can expand this up a little bit. And here's our inventory system. So in my hand, I have an axe. And then you can see I can get armor and a hat. Uh, you click for everything, pretty much, in this game. Or, uh, I, I, let's see. I can use my WASDs, which I might do. Uh, just for better control. Uh, hold click to chop down trees faster. And as you can see, there's condition on, on all the stuff I use. And the whole point of this game is to not starve. 
So again, it's just a uh, gathering just like Minecraft. Uh, you can't just punch trees, you actually have to craft your first axe first. And if I went too fast on that, that was a sapling and a piece of flint. Uh, over here is a rabbit hole. Uh, you could uh, set a trap if you wanted. I could also smash the rabbit up against this water here. And if I can, that would be another way of killing it. Uh, as you can see, the art style is amazing. That's what I liked about it most when I first saw it. it. Just really surprised me. And of course he has hilarious things to say. I think when I kill a tree, it's like, Take that, nature! Something like that. Yeah, take that, nature! So, uh, stumps and stuff I can actually dig up with a uh, shovel. I'm just going around and collecting as much as I can. Let's actually craft a shovel. So I need one more piece of flint. Aha! Because if I craft a shovel first, even though that's probably out of order for a regular person, um, I'm just going to dig this plant up. And what this is, is a berry bush. So it's like a food provider. <laughs> So by doing that, I'm actually taking uh, the food source with me. Uh, we can also press tab to look at our map. There's a beehive up there. I don't know what the beehive does because I've never actually seen it done. We're going for that flint because flint is a very good commodity. So there we go. Let's make a pickaxe. So now we have a pickaxe also. I'm just fixing up my inventory a little bit by readjusting it. Okay, so we have 10 logs, some saplings. Let's make sure we can make a fire. Yep. So we're going to be ready for our first night. And I'm just going to run around and explore. What kind of food do we have? We only have one berry, which is bad. Uh, here we go. So with our uh, pickaxe, we can mine. I hope this uh, sound is coming through nicely. Oh, and we got our first gold already. See, now I don't have to look for flint as much. I can just mine. Because we got some flint out of there. Oh, another piece of gold. What we're going to use our gold for is to make a science machine which uh, helps you unlock other items in the game. I'm also uh, collecting stone that we can use to make a... Oh, look at that! Awesome! Awesome! Just chopped the rabbit in half. He just happened to jump right in front of me when I was mining. Didn't even mean to do that. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so now we're going into our first darkness. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can actually make a fire pit. But, because this is our first night, uh, I'm going to just uh, focus on um, building just a regular fire because we don't want to establish our base. When you uh, do something like that, it pretty much makes it your base when you make a uh, fire because you're using so much resources to do it. So I'm going to build it right here and then I'm going to gather some stuff. Let's uh, use a dig. Okay, let's use chop. Choppy choppy. Is it to take that vegetation or something? That's him talking. So now you take your logs and you add, see, add the fuel. So your radius changes just a little bit. But it's enough. Ooh, what the heck is that? Fireflies. Huh. I don't want to take the chance. What the heck? See, that's kind of weird, eh? 
so now we are in severe darkness, so I'll go out just to show you what happens. It's so dark. And then I should get hurt. Oh! I can't see anything. So down to 33, and we gotta watch our... Let's see if I can uh, cook. Yeah, I can. So what is it now? Roasted berries. So right mouse button to eat. So, um, um. so I'm at 50. Let's see how much that does. A weird number. Probably about 15. I wonder if I can cook carrots too. That I can. So we have roasted carrots now. We also have, yeah, there we go, morsel of meat. Cooked morsel. So we're actually doing quite good for our first day in the world. I love the animation and all that. Like the art is just top notch. They did a good job. Me like it. Uh, with this recording, I'm probably going to do uh, three episodes uh, just for the normal indie showcase covering. And then we will create a let's play probably because I just enjoy it. Ooh, getting close, but I'm not going to waste wood. Okay. Pick up seeds. Hmm. Probably need that for my farm. So I guess that just shows me that there might be something there at night. I just don't want to take the chance with that. Because we could die very badly. Let's go over here. There's some more flint. Uh, let's do a shovel. Sorry about people from uh, Steam coming onto the recording. But that's just something you have to live with. I really like the animation. Oh, crap. Ah, huh, twigs. So I don't want that. I might as well. Oh, my inventory is full, I guess. Ooh, look at the berry bushes. That looks just cool, eh? And then these uh, different ground and stuff is, I'm assuming, biomes. Huh. That's a spider's nest, I believe. So that's where spiders come from when they uh, attack you at night. Ooh, I could dig those up. Because the berry bushes are piling on top of each other. Which is nice. <laughs> Did you guys see that? The tree made a funny ass noise and grew from a... Like a small tree to a big tree. It's like, burn. Okay. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Just want to make sure that we gather first. Okay. Yes, when I go exploring, it's going to kind of screw me over for later. Oh, I can't carry any more stuff. What do I not need? Oh, I could eat this. Very quick. Wish there was a faster way to uh, switch between weapons or items. If you know how, feel free to post. Okay. Let's see where I am now. I've kind of gone around in a circle. It looks like water to the north. Maybe we'll establish our base somewhere. We'll go into this next area over here. Tons of flint. Ooh, look at the forest. Ooh, yes. Aha! carry any crap. <laughs> Manure. So, this is Christonian here. I'm gonna establish base right over here, I believe. Just off of here, I have a nice forest. I can work off of these guys. 
and hopefully uh, hunt them down over time. This is Christonian here playing Don't Starve. Thank you for coming by, and, and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Okay, bye for now.